the algorithm of the knapsack problem first we have a class object here and second uh, we'll have the uh, public class um, knapsack greedy so in this we'll have the main function and the other functions in addition to that we have this class here where we create k object so it has three parameters here weight and profit and uh, ratio so what does uh, these three things do we'll be discussing in the program okay so first the main function the main function gets the number of objects means how many items are there in the knapsack problem and one uh, one more thing if in this problem what we'll be discussing is about the greedy method of knapsack and um, if you know about that greedy method you can uh, move further with the video or else i recommend you to watch the uh, theoretical explanation it's a small uh, topic which i have discussed in the module 3 uh, the link will be in the description box so you can watch that and uh, to get a basic info or else also it's no problem i'll be explaining all the things here if you uh, see if you can get in this video only okay so in the main uh, first in the main function we we'll get the number of objects means how many items are there then we'll call the two functions read object and knapsack what does read object do read object will get the knapsack capacity means total capacity of the container weights of the each of the objects and the profits associated with it okay and the ratio will be found out uh, p by w p by w means you see uh, if you take an example we'll understand okay and the next one uh, we'll be storing the uh, objects in the descending order okay and we'll call knapsack then and now let's see the main function which is knapsack in greedy method what we'll be going to do is we'll be given with the um, profits here and the weights here and the ratio uh, the ratio means see here this is uh, the kilograms like suppose that one kilogram two kilogram uh, four five one three and seven kilogram okay and these are the uh, dollars which we get uh, by selling that uh, weight okay means if i sell one kilogram of rice i'll get six dollars two kilogram of um, wheat i'll get uh, ten dollars like that um, the different items are there with their weights and uh, how much profit we'll get if we sell the whole item okay so these are given the ratio is nothing but for one kilogram we are finding for one kilogram it is six so i'll be writing here six and for this one two kilogram it is ten for one kilogram it will be five so i have written here five same thing i have done for all the objects here okay so these are the ratios and it's very important for this problem so how we'll be starting is we'll be starting from here we'll be initializing our x array here for storing the ratios and uh, u is equal to m the capacity which uh, we are given with is 7 okay so our capacity is 7 u will initially be 7 okay the next thing which we need to know is um for i is equal to 0 to n we will be initializing x, uh, x of i as 0 so all of these values will be 0 here okay the next thing is uh, for i is equal to 0 to n we will be running from 0 to n will be what we will be doing if k of object uh k object of i dot w is greater than u k object of i initially i is zero okay so what is the value which we are uh, going to consider this is k object values 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 um, k object of i uh, dot w what is w w is this one k object dot i means i is zero so this object w this weight we are considering one kilogram is one kilogram greater than um, u which is seven kilogram no it's not that means we have to accommodate this one in the um, x array so when we have an uh, item which is uh, which uh, we are able to accommodate in the array so then what we'll be doing we'll be taking up this item and uh, putting in the array okay so what we'll be doing is we'll be writing in the array one okay so it's not uh, greater so this will not be executed else this will be executed x of i will become one what is x of i x of zero this will become one here okay so either we'll have one or zero that's the only possibility either we'll take the item or not take the item okay so first uh, entry will be here uh, one okay so we have taken the first element okay if you have taken the first item that means the total capacity now left is seven uh, minus one which is six okay six is left now a correction here it's not uh, seven it's actually 15 okay so uh, initially it was 15 then we have taken one kilogram from here so it will become 14 now okay so 15 minus 1 is 14 that will be written here okay so u is now 14 okay that will be mentioning here u is 14 now okay now next what we'll be doing after we have uh, initialized the x of i value uh, before that we have to calculate the total profit total profit will be initially 0 so 0 plus k object of i means the ith object dot p p will store the profit of that object means if we sell 1 kilogram how much profit will getting 6 okay so total profit will become 6 now okay so we'll make a array here total profit is 6 now okay next after that what we have to do we have already done this one u is equal to u minus k object dot w means from u will uh, subtract the weight of the object 
u is uh, uh, 15 we have subtracted one now it is 14 okay and this you have already done after doing this we will be moving on with the um, iteration of i means i will increment to one now i's value is one here so we'll be mentioning i as one now we'll be considering the second object should we consider this object or not first we'll be checking the weight is the weight greater than uh, 14 no it's not so we'll be considering that okay when we consider that we'll uh, write down here one okay after we write down one here we'll be subtracting the weight of this object from the u so 14 minus 2 is what 14 minus 2 is um, 12 so we'll be writing here the remaining weight is 12 okay and then the total profit will also be calculated to the um, here t t is 6 now so the profit which i get uh, by selling this object is 10 so i'll be writing here uh, 6 plus 10 which is 16 okay so here it will be 16 now next after this we'll be uh, going on with the i is equal to 3 so i will become 3 now when i is 3 the object is i is 2 okay now i is 2 so uh, the object which we are going to consider here is this one in this object the weight is 4 can we consider uh, is 4 greater than uh, 12 no it's not so we'll be considering 4 and subtracting 4 from the uh, we'll be subtracting 4 from the total capacity so 12 minus 4 will give us 8 okay so we'll be, i'll be writing here 8 so total capacity left is 8 and since we can uh, included the object we'll be marking here 1 okay the second object is also included okay next what is the profit i got from selling the second object that is 13 okay see here i got 13 profit so i'll be marking the total profit as uh, 16 plus 13 it is 29 okay so i'll be writing here 29 next i will be incremented to 3 when i is 3 what is the object the object is this one and the weight is 5 when the weight is 5 uh, I'll, I'll see if the weight is greater than uh, u it's not so i can accommodate uh, the object uh, 3 uh, with the weight 5 and the capacity will be left is 8 minus 5 which is 3 okay so 3 will be uh, the 3 will be the capacity and i'll make the change here i have included the object 3 and what is the profit i got from uh, including the object 3 the profit is 15 so i'll be mentioning here 15 okay so t will become 29 plus 15 which is 39 44 okay so 44 will be the total profit as of now okay the next object uh, i will be increment to 4 when i will become 4 at that time we'll be considering the fourth object which is this one here the weight is 1 can, is 1 greater than 3 no it's not so we'll be including that in the array okay when we include 1 here what you'll get the total weight uh, 1 will be subtracted so u will become 2 okay now u is 2 and what is the profit i got uh, from including this object the profit i got is um, 3 so i'll be adding um, 3 to the uh, 3 to 44 which will be 47 okay now the uh, total profit is 47 then in the next iteration i will become 5 and i is 5 what's the object the object is this one in this object the weight is 3 is 3 greater than 2 yes 3 is greater than 2 that means we cannot include the whole object only we need 2 kilogram of this object but we have 3 kilogram so what we'll be doing is we'll be including just 2 kilogram of this object and what is the profit associated with 2 kilogram of this object for 1 kilogram it is 1.67 for 2 kilogram it will be 2 into 1.67 okay 2 into uh, 1.67 will uh, give me the answer 3.34 okay so the profit which i get is 3.34 all right so i'll be writing here uh, 47 plus 3.34 which is 50.34 okay so i'll be writing here 50.34 this is the profit i got what part of the object i have included here uh, i have included the 2 kilogram in from 3 kilogram means 2 by third i have included that means 0.67 percent only i have included so this fraction i'll be i'll be mentioning in the x array okay so i'll be writing here 0.67 so this is the fraction array which we have got here now after this point what will happen is this will come out of this loop okay we'll break out of this uh, for loop here because k of object of i dot uh, w which was 5 it was um, it was 3 it was greater than 2 so we have um, we'll break out of this statement and then what we did is then we came to this part here uh, it will print out the uh, value of i i is 5 so 5 will be printed in the in the screen 5 will be printed and then what will be printed is the next one if i is less than n what is i i is 5 5 is less than n yes n was uh, 7 so 5 is less than 7 that means all objects are not included and we came out of the loop okay that uh, that's what it specifies so it is uh, the case so what we'll do 
x of i will calculate that is u by k of object weight uh, the object weight was 3 the u was 2 so we had calculated 2 by 3 and uh, stored in x of i which is nothing but um, this one 0 0.67 okay that fraction is stored now now it's time to calculate the total profit the total profit will be total profit which was initially 47 plus x of i means what was x of i x of i was 0 0.67 0 0.67 into what's the profit of this that is into 5 so this will give me 3.34 which i added to 47 uh, to get to get the final answer which is uh, 50.34 okay this is the final profit which i get okay so this is all what you have to do in the uh, greedy algorithm so let's uh, move on to the um, java code this is the uh, program so we'll have a class object here which will have the float uh, w for storing the weight and p for storing the profit and r for storing the ratio this is the main class uh, public class uh, knapsack greedy so this will be running uh, till the end of the program and inside this we have three programs which is the main function so before that we have initialized our max value with uh, 20 so this is the maximum number of objects and n is the number of objects m is the capacity of knapsack and in main function, we'll have to enter the number of objects, which is n, and then k object will initialize the array of k objects to store the objects in it, and then the objects will be initialized by calling the read object function. And after that, we'll call the knapsack problem. What does read object do? In read object, we'll uh, take the maximum capa uh, maximum capacity of the knapsack and, uh, and the weight of the uh, each object and uh, profit of each object. Okay. After that, we'll uh, calculate the ratio and store in the descending order. Descending order be, uh, because we need to calculate from the um, most uh, profit um, object to the least profit object. Okay, in that way we'll be in that way we'll be uh, prioritizing the objects. Okay, so this is the I think it's bubble sort. So in this way we'll be calculating the uh, descending order based on PW ratio. We'll be um, storing the objects. Okay, and after it's uh, after it gets over, it will come to, uh, it will come back to the main function. The next one is knapsack will be called. The same function which we have discussed in the video so here the x array will be created for storing the ratio and uh, total profit will be storing the total profit and i and u is created u will be m okay so the capacity which uh, we have been given with is 15 so 15 will be stored in u and total profit is initialized to be zero initially and we'll um, what we'll do first is we'll create a for loop for initializing all the values of x of i as zero then for i is equal to zero to n um, we will be checking the object can be accommodated or not if the uh, weight of the object is more than the capacity it will be breaking out of the statement else it will be including the object and subtracting the weight of that object okay and, and at the same time it will calculate the profit also for that object okay and that will be stored in total profit and after this gets over means all the objects are accommodated at that time uh, we will check if it uh, all the objects are included or not if uh, we came before the all the objects are included at that time what we will do X, uh, x of i is equal to u by k object dot w means the fraction of the last object which is included that will be present in x of i that fraction will store here and by using that fraction we'll be calculating the total profit okay means if uh, half of the object is included the half profit will be calculated by uh, using k object of i dot p the uh, profit will be multiplied with the x of i which which if in case uh, it was half it will be half into the profit okay so that will be added to the total profit and finally the solution vector will be printed out along with the total profit let's uh, run the program and see enter the number of objects i'm uh, entering seven objects and the maximum capacity is 15 and i'll be entering the weights which are one now see here the solution vector which is given is this one at the second last object we have 0 0.67 and the total profit is 5.34 okay so this is what uh, we have to do in this program let's move on to the next one